ब्रॉड टू यू बाय टेक्नो कैमन थर्टी सीरीज Well, joined by the legend uh, Brett Lee himself, and uh, Brett, incidentally, is in uh, England, and he's uh, part of the Australia champions for the World Championship of uh, Legends. And uh, Brett, uh, the Australian legends, is playing as good as the Australian team that you were part of, playing like the world champions. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Um, yeah, look, it's it's obviously been a a wonderful week for us. Um, you know, after that loss against Pakistan. Uh, and then to have three wins on the trot was fantastic. So we're starting to find some form. Well, the Australians look as fit as they were uh, uh, while you were uh, playing international cricket. What's the what, what's the secret behind that? Oh, I, I think that we're just you know obviously um, <clears throat> professionals trying our hardest to make sure that we you know get get to the the sort of team environment and come prepared. And that's that's a thing. Everyone does a terrific job. Everyone's come in this tournament looking to win and have some fun doing it. Were you surprised at the way the Indians played yesterday, last night? Oh, look! I think India have got a, a great side. Um, they've got a wealth of knowledge. They've got some heaps, a heap of experience. But at at sort of at the end of the day, um, you know, the way that we batted, I think in that in that first innings, you know, I think it ran about the fourteen over mark. We're about one hundred and twelve, and for us to get up to one hundred and ninety nine, to have two hundred for the chase for India, I think it was probably too many for them. And the Pakistanis are playing uh, pretty good uh, as well. Uh... They have a few players who are still playing competitive cricket. Yeah, and that's that's a thing that you know these these different sides that we're up against are different countries. There are a lot of players that are still playing competitive cricket, and that's why the standard's so good. That's why the tournament is a success, is because of you know the standard of cricket and the caliber of players that we're up against. So look, we we don't try and look too far ahead. We're certainly enjoying it. The thing that I love about the Aussie cricket team is that we've known each other. Most of us have played together. There's a couple of guys in the team that I haven't had the chance to play with before, so to call them teammates, obviously you respect their relevant careers and what they've achieved, um, but to have teammates and have new teammates is, is is very, very exciting. And the last month had the World T20 and India uh, winning a World Cup uh, in T20 after 17 years. Uh, before the tournament, I mean, before the tournament, did you give India the chance to win the Cup? Oh, look, I think everyone knew that India had a fantastic side. I mean, if you have a look at their batting lineup, firstly, they've got guys that bat right down the top of the order. They go out and bang them. They've got that middle order power. And they've got guys at the end that can whack them and, and get that score up to 200 in a T20 match. But for me personally, it's the likes of a Jasper Bumrah. You know, he leads the attack. He's absolutely yeah. world class. I think he's probably the, the best bowl, bowler in the world currently in most formats. Um, so for him to have a wonderful tournament, but it wasn't just the wickets he took. I think he took about 15 wickets for the tour. Um, it was his economy, you know, and he, he he led the side. He's definitely, as I said, world class and congratulations to India. How would you rank him uh, now in modern day cricket? And I'm not saying that you rank him uh, uh, across formats uh, in all time, but uh, uh, in the last 20 odd years, uh, do you think mm. uh, Bumrah ranks there uh, uh, among the top ones? Definitely in in any era, mate, and I'm I'm okay to to recommend in any era because you have to go on the person's style, you have to go on what they bring to the table. Someone like a Jasper Bumrah can shape the new ball away. He's got good pace, he's still quick, uh, he can bowl that line length in Test match cricket. But then you throw in the white ball, he can open the bowling. But then if you try to close out the death, you've got guys chasing you know twelve, thirteen, and over at the end in T Twenty cricket. And he bowls at Searing Yorker. I mean, it's almost impossible to play. So, world class in any era. Um, I have really enjoyed watching his career unfold. I've had the pleasure to work uh, and commentate and broadcast on a lot of uh, his his, his um, overs that he's bowled in his career in the last sort of seven or ten years. Has he attained his peak or is the best yet to come? The best is yet to come. He's like Benjamin is yet to Button, come. getting better with age. <laughs> Uh, also, a tricky situation for the captains, uh, Brett, uh, with bowlers like you and Jasprit Bumrah. You know, how do you use those four overs? Uh, how do you use them in the power play? Uh, do you keep them uh, for the mid overs? Do you keep them uh, for the last overs? Uh, Rohit actually uh, created that situation well for him. Yeah, he did. Look, I think Rohit Sharma is a terrific captain. I think he knows his players very well. He understands his, his players. He understands what... He's trying to achieve um, from all of his teammates. 
But the, you know, the greatest thing with um, with a guy like a Jasper Boomer is that he can bowl two up front. He can bowl one through the middle, and then he can bowl one to death. So normally, on a general rule, you say to your fast, you strike bowlers have one or two up front. If they get tapped first over, then they might go, okay, we might go take the pace off the ball. We might go a spin option, maybe one in the first six. But a general rule is two up front, one through that middle, and one at the death, or two up front and then two at the death. And he can he could definitely bowl four at the death straight if he wanted to. So he can evolve. He can, um, you know, in any challenging situation, he just stands up. Brett, uh, we've seen this with the Australians uh, uh, as well. Uh Batsmen can win you games. They are very entertaining. But it's the bowlers who win you the tournaments. And I think we've seen this with the Indians uh, this time as well. Yeah, correct. Um, that, that has often been said uh, from from batters. You know, batsmen have often said that that they, you know, win you win you games and stuff. But it's the bowlers that win you the tournaments. You know, generally you're trying to defend. You know, um, sometimes totals around that one one sixty five one seventy mark, but. Collectively, it's got to be a team effort. And, you know, bowlers can only do what they want and what they can on that particular day. Um, you know, the batsmen, batsmen that get that big toe, like, like, like the Aussie guys have been doing recently, you know, in, in our tournament, they've been getting big scores. You know, guys like Aaron Finch, Sean Marsh, getting us off to great starts. We've got that depth and that power through the middle order. So us to get scores of over 200, it allows the bowlers to have more freedom. You know, we can then attack because the batsmen on the other side are trying to get their runs quickly, which create chances for us. Uh, Brett, last two questions. Uh, you've known Indian cricket uh, very closely. You played with them. Uh, you played against them. Uh, you've been uh, in India for a number of years now, commentating, working with the cricketers. Uh, potentially, there are two more ICC tournaments, the Champions Trophy and uh, possibly a crack at the World Test Championship uh, final, which may see India-Australia yet again in a mm. year's time. Uh, Sunil Gavaskar said that uh, the Indian team uh, was going through a phase which was akin to batsmen going through the nervous 90s. You get out at 92, 93, 94, 98, 99, uh, till you get a century. And that was what was happening with the uh, Indians in the ICC tournaments. I mean, till you uh, got another title. So he feels mm -hmm. now that the burden is gone and maybe uh, there are more titles to come. Oh, definitely. Look, I think it's a psychological barrier sometimes. Uh, batsmen yeah. getting out. In the 90s, bowlers getting fourfer, can't get that fifer mark because it's that milestone. Or a team getting so close to winning. I mean, I'm, you know, I look at nations like South Africa that get so close and then just fall fall apart at the sort of back end. They can't get that trophy, you know, from a cricketing point of view anyway. But India were, were probably pigeonholed and, and put in that category. But now that they have proven that they can win titles, they've proven that they can can dominate in the test arena. They've proven they can dominate in the one-day sort of setup. Um, hopefully for them now that the pressure is off and they can just go out there and enjoy their cricket. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to having a well-balanced side. India have got that. And um, even though that a few players are now moving on, three players have hung their boots up from the T20 format. <clears throat> um, it's the young guys that are going to come through now and the next generation of players. And you've seen them uh, closely uh, uh, during the mm -hmm. IPL. Do you think uh, Indian cricket is going to be in safe hands? Absolutely. Definitely safe hands. Um, and in, in safe hands because of the product um, and the way that they've left the game, the, these these superstars of world cricket, you know, you've uh, your Coley's of the world, the Rohit Sharma's of the world, um, that they, they, they've left the game of cricket in a much better state than when they found it. And, and that's what you try and do as an athlete. You try to find a way to add your little spice on, on on what you can offer in, in the team environment, um, try and pass on your knowledge, and they've definitely done that. So now it's up to the next young players coming through, the likes of Suri Kumar Yadav, you know, Sky, even though he's not young, he's been around the set now for quite some time. He's the next big thing in Indian cricket, you know, in my opinion, so it's over to him now. Thank you so much, uh, Brett. Bhaat uh, shukriya aapka. Aap se milke kushi hoi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. मेरे साथ जुड़िए मनाने के लिए क्रिकेट का सबसे बड़ा त्योहार मैच से जुड़े आपके हर सवाल का हम देंगे जवाब जानने के लिए हर अपडेट लाइव एनालिसिस स्पेशल इंटरव्यूज डाउनलोड कीजिए स्पोर्ट्स द कैप